Hello, welcome to Non Inkables. I'm Q. I'm Brian. Um, and we are going to talk about a uh, kind of overall general how set championship went. Um, so you guys already saw, hopefully if you haven't seen, please click on the video of my experience with our first set championship at Games of Martinez, where I actually got to win, but I wanted to see how was your experience there, because Brian was also there. I did not do as well. <laughs> Um, we were playing the same, no, not the same deck. Essentially the same deck. Essentially the same deck. With some minor tweaks. Yeah, so my deck, uh, Emerald Steel, um, I had Robin Hood, Champion of Sherwood, and Tragic Beast as like my top, the top part of my deck. So it only really went to five ink. And then yours. It was the same thing. Oh, you had Tinkerbell in your deck. No. No? No. Oh, my bad. Okay, so... Same deck. It's the same deck. You use Cusco. I did not use Cusco. Oh yeah, I added my one tech card of Cusco uh, with Ward and Quest for three, five cost on Inkable. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I would say that Cusco really only did me anything in like two of the games. Mm. So I don't know if that was very helpful. I mean, a lot of times I think it's just luck of the cards. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So what kind of decks did you play at Games of Martinez? Pretty much red purple. So Ruby Amethyst, I played maybe three of, I think f my first three matches were against Red Purple, and then my last two matches were against Aggro decks, so mm -hmm. Yellow Red and Purple Red, but a more aggressive Purple Red. Okay, yeah, so I didn't play that many Ruby Amethyst, I think, maybe two during the initial and then just for semi-finals okay yeah which i think was really what got me through to finals because uh next fast forward to the next day at Fantomich, um i played i think all ruby amethyst decks <laughs> and i did horribly uh i think part of it part of it was that i didn't sleep at all prior so after games of martinez i think one i had too many coffee candies at games of martinez because i was afraid of being sleepy um, and two, I was too hyped of winning that I really just didn't sleep all night. Um, so then when we got to Fantomic, one, I was, I hadn't slept. And then, uh, prior to going to Game of Games of Martinez, I'd played one game on Pixelborn just to kind of like remember how to play the game. And I did not do that before going to Fantomic. And I remember my first two games, I was like, how does, how does this work? I start with, and I had to like think about every step. Like I start with seven cards. Now I have to mulligan. Now, what do I do? And I just felt like I didn't know how to play Lorcana at all. Um, yeah. I think I was the same way at Phantomich. Okay, maybe you just do better. With yeah, I think I just got lucky with my cards. Yeah. Because when I was there, I was hungry. I was tired from the day before. I did not really want to think. So I just went full aggro mode. Just put all my cards down and just top decked every match. Yeah. Yeah, I remember also my first two rounds at Phantomic, I didn't see one Curse Merfolk at all and like no Flynn Riders. So I feel like I didn't, the cards were against me when I was at Phantomic. Um, and I think I ended up winning maybe two rounds and losing three. I won against, um, I remember this Ruby Steel deck that was like very different. Uh, not a meta deck, a very interesting. It was all based around Sheriff of Nottingham. Um, and what saved me was that Prince John had Ward, or else I would have lost. Yeah. Uh, and then I feel like all the other games, I just, I also tried to go aggro, but didn't have the cards to do that. And then I just was top decking because I didn't want to make any more decisions. Mm. Yeah, at Phantomich, I, I played, what was my first game? My first game was... Ruby Amethyst, I believe, and I won that one. Second game was Ruby Amethyst. I lost that one. Third game was a mirror match, Steel Green. I was able to win that one because he was, I guess he wasn't playing that the day before. He just changed because I think mm -hmm. you won with it. Yeah. <laughs> but he was playing Red Purple the day before at, at Games of Martinez. And so he changed that day. And I think I just had more experience with that deck. And I drew better cards. Yeah. So really, uh, you should play the deck you know. Yeah. And then my next match was red-blue. Just... Aggro that. I just raced them. <laughs> <laughs> it 
It was not a very good match for him. Yeah. My next match was, what was my next match? It was another red purple. I lost that one. And then I was able to make it to top eight, fortunately, yeah. unlike the day before. My first match, unfortunately, was red purple again. <laughs> yeah. And that was with the guy who had won the whole thing. Yeah. yeah. I played him, I think, my last round. Um, and he had won whatever championship he went to before because he showed up with his championship mat which you should have done. yeah and everyone was like where's your championship mat and i was like um you guys don't know me very well but if i brought a championship mat it would have sauce on it yeah. somehow even though there's no sauce in this room sauce would just fly and it would get dirty but i was able to take one game off of him on the draw yeah so that's really good because pretty much really good my what i did was merfolk turn one merfolk merfolk turn two <laughs> and he just once i did that he couldn't keep up yeah. Yeah. I, my merfolk did not want to see me or my Flynn Riders or like the Robin Hood combo, like one drop Robin Hood shift to three, I would get one or the other. And then sometimes I would wait with my five drop Robin Hood until that was the only th card I could ink. And then the next turn I would get the one drop Robin Hood. And I was like, are you serious deck? We're not <laughs> friends anymore. Um, and then I feel like after that, I was like, I don't know how to play this game anymore because then I played a bunch more games on Pixelborn over the next week um, and I just kept losing. Whereas I just kept winning. Yeah. And I was like, this is the same deck. I just keep losing. And then I was like, oh, maybe if I try some other decks because we were planning to go to another set championship um, the following weekend. So I was like, I need to figure this out before we go. And I tried Amethyst Steel. I tried Ruby Amethyst. I tried steel song and just no matter what deck i tried to play just well, kept that's losing that's also your problem yeah that's true because you try too many decks that's true you need to master one deck yeah and then i went back to emerald steel and i kept playing it and i just kept losing and i was like i don't i think i just don't know how to play anymore i need to take a break um and then we ended up not going to the set championship the following weekend which is today uh because they changed their times so they originally said they were going to start at nine and then they're like just kidding we're actually starting at one um, and I work tonight, so there's no way we could have gone. And there, I may be able to finish Swiss, but there's no way I would have paid for a top eight. You won already, so. Yeah, that's true. You have so, a stitch, you have a stitch uh, map. I don't care anymore. Um, so I think the major things that we learned from championships, I would say one is you need sleep, you need food. Yeah. Um, and then you need your deck to be on your side. And you need to practice. Yeah. And I feel like it's not about having the better deck. It's just being more consistent with your deck. I feel like even if you're going against a deck that where your matchup is not that great, just being able to play your deck properly and consistently. Okay. So basically knowing what to do with your deck, not so much. Or do you mean like consistent in terms of getting the right cards? Just playing your deck properly and variants will allow you to get the cards you need eventually <laughs> yeah okay okay so uh that's our reflections on set championships um we are hopefully planning to go to one of the at least one of the disney challenges yeah hopefully vegas hopefully vegas or seattle um, and seattle and we hope to see you all there. And as always, check out our TCG store. It gets updated like daily. Um, yeah, because you buy so much stuff and our inventory is always deal. changing. It's a good deal. Uh, I just bought more Floodborne cards because they were like four fifty dollars a pack. Um, anyways, that's besides. Uh, check out our TCG store. And as always, keep shuffling. And hopefully you don't end up with a whole handful of non-inkables like us. Like me, but like us. Not like me. <laughs> All right, bye. Bye.